Today, we are enlisting the public's help to identify the two suspects. After a very detailed analysis of photo, video, and other evidence, we are releasing photos of these two suspects. They are identified as suspect one and suspect two. They appear to be associated. Suspect one is wearing a dark hat. Suspect two is wearing a white hat. Suspect two set down a backpack at the site of the second explosion just in front of the Forum restaurant. We strongly encourage those who were at the Forum restaurant who have not contact, contacted us yet to do so. As you can see from one, of the, from one of the images, suspects one and two appear to be walking together through the marathon crowd on Boylston Street in the direction of the finish line. That image was captured as they walked on Boylston in the vicinity of the intersection with Gloucester Street. As you can see, the quality of the photos is quite good, but we will continue to work on developing additional images to improve their identification value. Further, on FBI.gov, we have photos of the suspects. The photos and videos are posted for the public and media to use, review, and publicize. For clarity, these images should be the only ones, and I emphasize the only ones, that the public should view to assist us. Other photos should not be deemed credible, and, and they unnecessarily divert the public's attention in the wrong direction and create undue work for vital law enforcement resources. For more than 100 years, the FBI has relied upon the public to be its eyes and ears. With the media's help, in an instant, these images will be delivered directly into the hands of millions around the world. We know the public will play a critical role in identifying and locating these individuals. Somebody out there knows these individuals as friends, neighbors, co-workers, or family members of the suspects. Though it may be difficult, the nation is counting on those with information to come forward and provide it to us. No bit of information, no matter how small or seemingly inconsequential, is too small for, for us to see. Each piece moves us forward towards justice. It is extremely important to contact us with any information regarding the identities of suspect one, suspect two, and their location. We consider them to be armed and extremely dangerous. No one should approach them. No one should attempt to apprehend them except law enforcement. Let me reiterate that, reiterate that caution. Do not take any action on your own. If you see these men, contact law enforcement.